Industrial Corporation, BAIC, along with consultants from the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, recently completed a trade mission to Cuba. It's all in an effort to explore trade opportunities in the solar energy, light industries, and handicraft and manufacturing sectors. But as Andrew Knowles tells us, much focus was placed on the agricultural sector and ways to cut the country's annual half a billion dollar food bill while encouraging more consumers to become more self-sufficient. In an effort to make the Bahamas more self-sufficient and competitive in food production, BAIC Executive Chairman Arnold Forbes says the corporation is looking at establishing an agricultural school in Andros. In fact, Cuban authorities have pledged to assist the Bahamas by sending a team of 15 agricultural experts to lend their expertise in mapping out a plan of action. What the plan is, is to set aside 200 acres of land of, for just um, uh, not only experimental farming, but also um, demonstration farming. Okay, um, And uh, the Cuban delegation are willing to send teachers down to the Bahamas and technical um, experts to show us how they've done it and how we can do it in the future. Over the last half century, Cuba has been forced to feed itself because of a loss of export markets. But Mr. Forbes believes the Cuban system is a great model for the Bahamas to develop backyard farming programs and other agricultural initiatives. I believe we need to get the experts in so that they can teach us how to uh, move away from big back farming, get into more mechanized farming, um, get into more hydroponics, get into more aquaculture. All these things we need to look at so that we can enhance the Bahamian agricultural product. Regarding industries, the BAIC chairman feels light industries can be the third plank to make the economy more independent. There are companies in the Caribbean, believe it or not, who, uh, who have developed um, in certain respects a very viable light industry. Um, uh, not, they're not as mechanized as you would have companies in the U.S. or in the developed world, but they are getting to a point now where they can become competitive. I believe that the Bahamas, um, if we uh, focus on it, can develop some sort of light industry, if only to start with. Mr. Forbes added that the mission to Cuba was extremely successful. Andrew Knowles, Zeninist Network News. The Bahamas Humane Society is pushing for the prosecution of Surrey operators who failed to provide proper care for their horses. In fact, the society believes the Surrey business should stop altogether unless it's fully revamped. Just last week, a horse pulling a Surrey collapsed and died at the corner of Dowswell and Christie Streets. As Candino Knowles tells us, though, those in the business are defending against claims of cruelty. Surrey operators say the horse and carriage ride is big business as Surrey drivers could see at least 10 to 15 customers a day. And while the financial benefits are great for these men, the death of a horse that recently collapsed and died on the streets of the capital has activists questioning the care these animals receive. The Bahamish Humane Society is very concerned about the horse Surrey industry and have been for many, many years trying to bring the standard up to where operators would um, operate their horse surveys with um, responsibility, making sure that horses are taken care of properly, um, making sure that they adhere here to the um, rest period, um, and making sure that their overall um, care is in good standing. Inspector Perry Grant is saddened by the recent incident and believes Surrey operations need to be revamped to ensure more accountability. But Surrey driver Michael Woodside is defending operators, saying the incident was isolated and that the horses do get the utmost care and attention. We have an inspection the first Thursday of every month, and the Humane Society, they come, they inspect the horses, make sure that the horses are properly in good shape, properly fed, properly watered. In fact, Mr. Woodside is in total agreement with the Humane Society. He says while he's never witnessed any of these horses being abused, he believes offenders should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. If you are violating any laws and you miss treating your horse or any animal, if you mistreating your dog, you should be prosecuted. Any any animal that you mistreat, you should prosecute you should prosecute the owner because that's unfair to the animal. We've done our part and I think it's only fair now that the animals need some respect. And I think that um, in our country as a whole, enforcement enforcement is gonna be the only thing that to correct all of our problems. Candino Knowles, Zeranas Network News.
More than 100 College of the Bahamas students and residents of Baintown got tested yesterday for HIV. Participants not only got tested but were educated about the disease, which kills thousands each year, and how it's transmitted. We spoke to them about the importance of knowing your status. I think it's important to get tested because we, we don't know how, I mean, when we could get AIDS because AIDS is very predominant in our, in our age group today. Because it's important to know your status as well as learn as much information about preventing any further spreading of the disease.